Welcome to this Analyst Angle on the Cube. I'm Bob La Liberté, Principal Analyst with the Cube Research. And today we're going to be discussing the importance of edge computing environments, and especially given the increased use of IoT and OT sensors and devices that are generating so much data, and all of that needs to be analyzed in real time and is typically at the edge. So to help me do this, I've brought on board Pier Luca Chiadelli, Vice President of Engineering and Technology, Edge Computing Offers, Strategy, and Execution from Dell Technologies. So welcome, Pier Luca. Thank you very much, Bob. Welcome. Yeah, um, so look, clearly this is something that Dell focuses a lot of time and energy on. I've been tracking a lot of what's happening at the edge for a while. I'm wondering if you could pretend potentially share and provide some context for what Dell's seeing happening at the edge, what's changing, and what your customers are really looking for. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, we've been uh, at the edge for more than 20 years as Dell, and we started with a, a very broader portfolio from the hardware point of view. And then about five years ago, when I started to look at the edge really from what was happening and how IT, OT was coming together, and as you said, right, the uh, importance of the data moving to the edge and the necessity to have more compute there, then we start to see uh, more and more possibility that was not just the compute, uh, the hardware itself, but the challenge to manage this compute and how you bring things at the edge. And so that's uh, uh, start a tremendous journey in what we see today, fast forward, accelerate to uh, what we live in 2024, that we see really all of this AI and all of this stream of data uh, be generated at the edge and moving uh, and need to be processed at the edge. So um, I will say that the opportunity is greater than ever. Um, I'm glad that we start this journey a long time ago and we see the evolution. And to your point at the beginning, IT, OT, they coming together. Um, and also more and more, more important was to solving the challenge at the edge and make that an opportunity for all of us to make a journey for our customer in the edge. Yeah, and there's, and there's really some unique challenges at the edge. It's not like in the data center or campus where you've got a lot of resources, a lot of things nearby, right? You really need to design your solution specifically to accommodate the fact that there's not IT specialists at the edge. There may not be a lot of space, et yes. cetera, at the edge as well. Correct, and um, I mean, the, the most important thing is first, uh, let's define what is edge. Everybody's speaking about the edge, uh, but you don't really um, have a definition of the edge. Um, everything depends of, uh, you know, when I start to study physics, I'm a chemistry first degree, uh, was like all depends on the point of view. You know, mm -hmm. everything depends on the point of view. The same thing is with the edge, right? Uh, when we define the edge for us at Dell, the edge is everything that is outside of the data center. To your point, it's a place where uh, you need to have necessarily different type of hardware. Security is a problem. Uh, you are exposed to everything. You need to start small and be able to grow. You need also to appeal to people that they are not IT expert, right? They're not living there everywhere. And uh, the other important thing is the edge is not a data center where you may have 5, 10, 20 racks. You have thousands of devices distributed in a, a very, um, very broad uh, uh, environment. And also the challenge is, okay, how I can have a way to manage different devices with the same way instead of having an army of people that uh, maintain this device, right? So yeah. uh, fundamentally summarize security is fundamental manage the device is fundamental, manage the application is fundamental, and I'm sure we will touch on that, but the transformation of the application is also fundamental. Yeah, yeah. obviously there's a lot going on, and, and with the importance of the edge, that leads up to, I was just looking, I noticed a couple of weeks ago, you had made an announcement related to high availability and resilience at the edge. So clearly, again, given all the emphasis that's being placed on collecting that data, being able to process it and use it to get meaningful business insights, what are you doing to ensure that the, the technology that you're deploying there is always available? Yeah, absolutely. So when we start the journey to the edge, obviously we start with single node gateways that address and collect the data. So it was the center point to collect the data from sensor, camera, and everything you have there. Um, Suddenly, uh, soon enough, we move to more a near edge 
and co-location um, small modular data center. Why that? Well, two major things. One thing was uh, obviously when we create a native edge, that is the product that I represent, we created a uh, operating system that was optimized for the edge that can provide VM and container. But in doing that, we also create a way to deploy application to Blueprint on top of that. And we create also a way um, to uh, distribute the content to the edge. Now, as we, uh, we see more data created at the edge and the data gravity is moving more and more to the edge, then suddenly you need to have um, a, a storage point of view. You need to offer resiliency and all of that. Basically, also what VMware was offering in certain in the in the higher part of the market. Now we can offer all of that with native edge now as an alternative um, for the edge and the near edge data center. Um, so what we announce is a uh, capability to cluster uh, our nodes. Um, and the important things is uh, we're speaking about because the diversity of the hardware nodes that can be yes power edge. But native edge is the particular and the peculiarity things of covering the entire edge Dell portfolio. So you can start also with smaller things like a precision workstation and stuff like that and be able to cluster all of them together and add also storage if you want, connect storage outside of that. I allow you to give you the best flexibility for the best resiliency and at the better cost as well. So that's, that's a fundamental feature that allow us to offer A, an alternative for people that they want to look at things that they are optimized for the edge, um, uh, respect to other stack that they already there, and the ability to have it, the full end-to-end -end Dell experience with security. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. And I like that you had touched upon scale. One of the, my, my say, everyone says the only certainties in life are death and taxes. Yeah. And I've now added data growth to that as well. It seems like no matter what happens, Correct. data is always growing. So the ability to deploy something and then scale it and ensure that it's always available is going to be critically important for these for these deployments. Yeah, and uh, and on that I want to expand because that's exactly, uh, for example, if you take a retail use case, right? And we will be an NRF uh, and we will be uh, probably together uh, with the cube as well. Uh, but NRF will have a, a a very important things when you look at retail. Retail has this necessity to be very flexible and to adopt technology in different way in a very fast pace. Uh, I've been with customers that they say to me, I don't know what's happening six months from now. So I need to have an ability to an agility to create this thing. With Native Edge, you can start small as a gateway or an optiplex, a very small things. You can go up to a native uh, a, a power edge, but also you can have a different level of resiliency that you need. So um I will call the past the fact that you buy a uh, entire cluster, HCI cluster with three nodes for doing everything because that's not the case. The case is you need to start small, bring the application there and then expand and the flexibility at the edge is very important. You want to protect certain things, you don't want to protect other things. And also the most important things in retail, as you, you teach me, is the uh, revenue per square foot. And so that's very important. If you have the flexibility to compose the things on demand on what you need and get the application there with the single person and not having IT people on the on the store in the store is the best thing you can do. That's exactly what we're doing with Native Edge. Excellent. Now that sounds great. And I think one of the things that you touched upon earlier was the the transformation of the applications as well. So with, there's been a lot of shift from legacy apps to modern apps. There's been a lot of new. AI workload apps that are being generated. I'm wondering if you could spend a few minutes talking about how Native Edge is going to simplify organizations' development and, and deployment of those AI applications at the edge and these modern applications at the edge. And, and maybe why is that different than you had mentioned VMware earlier, some of the others? That yeah, um, so the, the important thing is uh, we all speak about AI. now. AI at the edge has been there in the sort of ML for the last 20 years. Um, but what is changing? AI is pushing to change in the entire stack. You, you, you cannot rely anymore on the same stack that you used to have before. And so what you need to do, it's a, a, a very uh, deep transformation, starting from the virtualization stack 
going up to the container stack, going up to uh, TensorFlow and all the other things that you need to deploy AI. Uh, so when you look at that, it's a transformation by itself. So with Native Edge, we can, um, we can actually move and, and facilitate the transformation. Why? Uh, one thing is I bring to you the virtualization at the minimum common denominator. As I mentioned, you can run our virtualization that provide native container and VM in a very smaller hardware optimized for that. And that you bring you a lot of flexibility because you can run on a PC virtualization where before you need to run a data center solution. Now you can scale this to a semi data center sites thing, but also the other problem was, okay, now that I have all these things and I have the hardware and the infrastructure and virtualization, how I manage and how I deploy things. So how I manage and deploy things, this is where it comes the blueprint technology that we have in Native Edge. Uh, with Native Edge, basically, we, you are having uh, for, for uh, uh, industry terminology, if we want to compare with other things, you get a V-realize on steroid in the sense that this V-realize is created for the edge. So allow you to deploy application to this minimum common factor, but also it's an intent base. It's like managing a cloud. So you say, okay, I need to deploy this solution that has peace on the edge, a piece on the data center, and yes, something in the cloud. Also, I need to connect, and I can connect with Native Edge this entire CI/CD pipeline. Because what is the biggest challenge at the edge? The biggest challenge at the edge is I'm training the things in the data center or in the cloud. Now, inferencing is happening at the edge. I need to move this model yeah. from, the, from the core to the edge. Today, all of this, if you go into a manufacturing things, if you go into a manufacturing site or everything is manual, means you have people going down the floor of the manufacturing, collect image. For example, if you speak about a computer vision use case, right? Um, I visit a manufacturing, car manufacturing, and they have a line where the worker uh, put cables inside of a door. And there are about 30 camera look at that. And there is an industrial PC in the closet, uh, two industrial PC in the closet one standby there with the GPU, and they need to look at if something wrong, then a siren goes up, the, the production line stop, and the worker need to check the, the pictures, right? Yeah. And as you know, as the models start to drift, because maybe they change the color of the cable or something happened, what happened in that case is start to stop and stop and stop more. So you have a decrease in productivity, and that's affect really the productivity of the of the car. You losing time, hours. Now, how it works today, before Native Edge, was someone need to walk down the the floor, get an USB, plug in the USB. So very unsecure. I remember in Native Edge, you cannot plug in a USB if you don't allow that. Um, now take this picture go to another place in the manufacturing, in the local data center of the manufacturer, the modular data yeah. center that is on the floor, and then upload to another place where they need to retrain. They retrain there. All this process take two weeks. So it's two weeks of losing of ROI on that manufacturing line. With Native Edge, especially what we announced with NIM and NVIDIA, we have a blueprint that can connect all of this end-to-end -end with security. So from a central location, you can deploy everything that you need, all the stack, all the things you need, and you can run and change the things if something happened. You know, the, 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 the AI stack, they're very fluent because they change it very often. It's all in emerging technology. So you need, from a security perspective, changing only pieces. Yeah. And today, in the other approach that I mentioned, there is no way to change in only pieces from a central location. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. And the, the concept of the blueprints certainly rings well with me because I, when I think about that, you know, when we think about the edge and what's happening, there's a lack of resources, skilled resources. To yeah. that. And even within the data center and the core IT group, all of this AI stuff is still relatively new. So a lot of the research we've done, we've seen a lot of our, our respondents coming back and saying, we really need those validated blueprints to help us get started. Yep. But like I said, the key to that is not just 
they're not so structured that you can't modify them, that you can't customize them, because as we know, everyone's environment is a little bit different. So I want to switch gears a little bit. A couple of times since we've been talking, it's been the, the word security has been, has been brought back up. Obviously, top of mind for most organizations as well. How does Native Edge ensure security and not just that, but also at security at scale? Because clearly, yep. the, right, the more distributed the environments, which is what these edges are, the greater the attack surface, the greater the risk. So what is, what is Dell doing in Native Edge to help ensure that these environments are fully secure? Yeah, um, absolutely. So um, the our biggest pillar was when we create a native edge from scratch was security needs to be paramount. It needs to be the design point of the entire um, platform. So we secure everything. And when we say zero trust, I mean, I know that the term is overused, but zero trust for us is following the seven pillar of the NSIT uh, definition. And so what are we doing in Native Edge? First of all, we start with the immutable OS. Nobody has action that can be done to that OS. There is no root access. It cannot be changed. Second, we implemented FIDO. Um, that means that we can have a certificates create and seal it in manufacturing. When, the, um, when this allows us to drop ship the equipment to the final destination, when this equipment come up, look at the certificate that is in our native edge orchestrator, and if they don't match, it cannot come up. This is a unique identifier. But not only that, when that process happened, and this is something that we um, we look at that many years ago, before it even was a thread, we can look for people that they tamper the device. Since the device left our manufacturing to when the device show up, if it's being tampered, something has been changed, we can recognize that and the device will be not be useful. The other point is also when the device is up, all the communication from the device that goes only from the device to the orchestrator, not vice versa, is designed for the edge. It's all encrypted and it's our IP to make sure that you cannot enter in that pipe. Not action can be done in that. And the other important things all the things that we're doing is secured through this pipe. And so um, there is no way really to enter in the operating system. And also through the blueprint technology, you can define the example I did before about the USB. Right. You cannot access a USB if you're not enabled for you. You cannot pass through a device if it's not enabled for you. And you can do all of that from the orchestrator through the blueprint technology. So very, very important, we secure the endpoint. Just to summarize, we secure yep. the endpoint from the hardware perspective, from the operating system perspective, from the virtualization perspective. We, we cannot have a VM in tech, uh, attack another one. It's all secure. We also secure all the communication with the proprietary things. And only the device has been assigned to that orchestrator can work with that orchestrator. If someone stole this device, he cannot do anything. He's a brick. So that's a fundamental zero trust design. Yeah, no, that sounds great. That's what I was thinking. The zero trust aspect of it, the ability to really significantly limit the blast radius if something was yep. able to get in, the ability to uh, potentially keep the insider threat out, even if it's inadvertently, i.e. with the thumb drives, things like that. And, and uh, uh, sorry, the other things I want to answer to you, um, you know, in a lot of customer environment, uh, yeah, you can have an orchestrator in the cloud, but with Native Edge, we design also for air gap. Okay. So a lot of people, they ask to us, that's one of the differentiators with our uh, competition in some case, it's not all cloud. The customer has a choice. The customer can put in his own cloud, the orchestrator. By the way, he can deploy as many orchestrators he needs. Okay. So he can divide by different things. But also, we support completely air gap solution. Because, okay. you know, in manufacturing, in yeah. federal, in other places, we see a lot of people asking for being in total control of the thing, right? I have, a, for example, a, a, a car manufacturing, uh, they're doing brakes, the best mm -hmm. brakes in the world. They are so afraid that their IP intellectual property can leave the facility that they're not using the cloud at all in the manufacturing environment, right? So it's uh, it's something that we need to take care of. 
Yeah, no, I think that that makes a lot of sense. Like you said, in addition to the government agencies that you typically think about not wanting to go to the cloud, maybe even some of the financials, but also, especially on the OT side, right? There's a strong, even yeah. as they become digitized, they still want to have that measure of uh, security by not being connected to or, the internet. Or they want to use their own cloud of choice. So that's what we can support. And so that's, that's very uh, flexible because maybe they already, uh, especially for financial institution, they already validate that cloud to their secure cloud. So they want to use that, right? Yeah, absolutely. So I think we've established AI is going to play a really important role at the edge. And there's going to be really long-term implications for what that means for business outcome, yeah. et cetera. Uh, you just announced the HA and cyber resiliency. What are some of the other things that you're doing to continue to drive innovation at the edge? What are some of the things that organizations should be looking forward to in the native edge? Um, I think a native edge give you really this uh, metrics that allow you to uh, really deploy everything you need and give you the ability to have flexibility, as I said, and, and uh, be able to react very fast to the change. That's optimal for AI because um, I was a, a, a very, uh, very, very fervent um, believer that AI is happening at the edge. Uh, we see right now, as I said, the inferencing movie at the edge, but if you see in the industry, what was called tiny ML now is edge AI. We have a new foundation that does that. I see we are only at the beginning. Because if the data, moving the data, by the way, it's very costly. If the data are created at the edge and you can do something with those data and you need to take uh, action on those data, what better place is to be doing this at the edge? And so if you can have uh, federated learning or um, be able to connect all these powerful things that you have, imagine this, right? We're speaking at the edge about thousands of different compute. What about if you can now with Native Edge collect all of that, manage all of that, and now I give you a solution from our ISV, our uh, ecosystem that allow you to go and be able to access all these data that are there without moving the data. That's the key things. Everybody should think about that. The other things is more and more use case for our vertical will come to serve at the edge. And so, for example, if you have a, a computer vision, that's that's what we see today, but other use case, right? Uh, um, security and other things, obviously every um, underlying things that can democratize the, the solution and be able to deploy this without silos, that's what Native Edge really brings to you. So flexibility, democratize the edge, so you don't need to have all this silo thing optimize your infrastructure. And at the end of the day, the most important thing is optimize the cost of managing this thing. So you don't need an army of people. You don't need second touch. You don't need all of these things. Yeah, it's, it's certainly, it certainly sounds like you've covered a lot of the bases and, and from the ability to scale, to secure across virtually any industry. I know we've brought up a few retail, manufacturing, uh, et cetera. I think there were a few others. Maybe energy. energy that you yep. brought up as well. So um, a lot of great advances for organizations looking to take advantage of and be able to scale those edge environments. Um, I know we've got, we mentioned earlier, we talked a little bit about retail. Yep. So I know we've got NRF coming up and there's a lot of the concept of intelligence stores of the future. Yep. I'm wondering if you could touch on a little bit about how the native edge is going to help enable those intelligence stores of the future. Yeah. Um... In Native Edge, obviously, we have an ecosystem where we blueprint uh, a lot of different things. And uh, for each one of the vertical, they have we have partner that we collaborate with it. Uh, so one of the historical partners, Centerity, is one of the ones that we use for retail. Uh, and NRF, uh, you're going to see more partner uh, be announced. Um, sure. The other piece uh, that, that we will do there, we're going to showcase how Native Edge can be this underlying connective tissue that allow you to have intelligence store, um, loss prevention uh, use case, all deploy through our partner that they're fundamental, obviously, because as you know, at the edge, it's all about the outcome. I mean, when I go to speak with someone that is, a, is, is, is in charge of a retail, he doesn't really care about 
you know, you have this compute, you have this technology, you have this. What he wants to know is like um, how much I can save on loss of merchandise and things like that. Or when I ship things from my distribution center, they don't reach the thing. And we speak sometimes of millions of dollars, right? Um, and having technology and be able to click one, one button and say, okay, deploy this in one store for a POC and then extend to 100 store with another click, it's fundamental. Today, this is, takes months, years for people to do it. Um, we have already people that are working with us from retail, very important retail customer around the globe that they already see the potential of having native edges being this connectivity tissue. Obviously, we are also glad that we have our partner, uh, like Synterity, another one that allow us to expand the offering. Uh, and I say, as you said at the beginning of the interview, right, uh, people look at this as an example, then everybody has his own way to do things, but that's the key, right? right. Native Edge allow you that flexibility to do the things as you need, right? Got it. No, that makes a lot of sense, and I'm looking forward to it. I mean, clearly, the retail space in particular, right, online versus in-store, being able to have a differentiated experience. So everything that those retailers can do to provide better experiences in-store, to ensure things are in stock, right, be able to track, obviously reduce the shrinkage or loss that, that occurs. So all great things that having that edge compute or the right edge compute can certainly yeah. do. Um, hey, listen, this has been awesome. We could probably continue talking all afternoon, but <laughs> we've got to draw the line somewhere. So I think I'll, I think I'll do that here. So uh, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. And uh, I want to thank all of you for watching this Analyst Angle. For more information on Dell's native edge solutions, please visit their website.